Boom. Um, this is what we call a suction socket here. This has a little valve here. Um, okay, yep. So what happens here, um, in this particular case, this is a valve. What I usually, or what I've had done in the past with patients is that with this type is you cast them, you make a mold of the limb, and what happens here is you would get what we call a bag. It's, it's, a, it's a donning bag is the term we use. Have you heard of that? Okay, so it's a bag you put on your arm, there's a little end on it, you pull the end in, you put your arm in it, you pull yourself through it. What you're doing is you're pulling the soft tissue into this socket. And so what it does is it almost, you're basically suspending inside here. You're locking yourself in here. Once you put the valve on, it creates a negative pressure. When that negative pressure is, is created, it's this, this harness is actually like a secondary suspension. You're technically holding the prosthesis up with your arm. But the harness itself, again, is keeping it taut to, your, to yourself, but also it does suspend you. So it does both, but the main suspension is your arm being inside here holding it. That's what you're actually doing. You're actually holding it from this valve being on here. So um, what happens is the longer the limb, the better suspension, the more function you get out of it because the limb, when it's longer, you can control a little bit more. You have a little more lever action, so to speak. You know, it's basically you got more to hold. Um, the shorter, a little bit harder it is. Sometimes we come up a little higher with the socket. But if I were to put this against you, if you don't, I don't mind, I'm just going to have it just slide in here, okay? Let's put your arm in. Just can you slide in here or not? There you go. Just like that. Just relax your arm. So, so just like this is where it would be on you. Just this. See how it comes up? Just like this? And then this would be tighter on you. Obviously, this is not. But it would probably be about this tight, okay? Similar to this. And it would be taunt just like this against your, you know, against your outer arm, just like that. So, so when, it, when you put this on, it's pulling it tight to you, because obviously... There's no way of going like this. For, do you have that function you're saying? Do you have that movement you're yeah. asking? Yeah, you do. You have, you'll have, you'll have no full range. There's no way that it was against here. I wanted to yeah, but if, I, if we slide you in, okay, and I kind of hold you. Again, this is the wrong side. Yeah, you can, you can, don't mind me. I can bring this around and that won't come around. But go ahead, just bring your, like you want to bring your shoulder forward. Okay, so you still have the motion. You still have, and you can come back, and you can come up if you want. So you'll, you'll come up, so I'm just saying, you even still have, on it. what's that? Even with the strap you, on yeah, it. even with the strap on it. Now, I mean, obviously the hat, the strap will actually kind of, you know, you, it's going to feel a little odd to you, obviously. Um, but again, for, I mean, I do see a lot of upper extremity amputees. I, I probably see myself maybe, I don't want to say the most, but in the area, in the Philadelphia area, I probably see the most. Um, there are other companies that make them. There are some companies that, um, that travel, that do a lot of traveling, so they, they see a lot of upper extremity amputees. But um, in reference to types, honestly, these are the three types that you're going to see most.